few little hiccups, but nothing major. Happy it's over and um, bring on the next one. I think the main worry before any open day is sort of what might happen, the unknown really, having to sort of problem solve if an issue arises. So comparing this open day prep to previous ones, we've never had sewage leaking or fans breaking down or um, poles being filled in, that kind of stuff. There's always little things, but I think this major. Uh, we're about 14 hours away from the start of an open day. So right now we're dealing with a major sewage leak uh, down in the John Stripe car park, where all of our future prospective students will be walking onto campus. We're hoping to have it sorted within the next hour or so, uh, but of course it's uh, Friday afternoon, everyone's getting ready to go home, uh, and it's turning into a bit of a nightmare. So my role in Open A really involves academic liaison with academics throughout the university, um, sorting out event staff, rotor, casual staff rotors and stuff, um, right the way through to organising coaches, companies, uh, magicians, uh, food and different things like signage and course flyers and communications, that kind of thing. Definitely the easiest part on actual Open A is working with a team that already know what they're doing. Um, and everyone's, because everyone's done it those times before. Right now I'm just really sticking blue tack on the signs. So for open day prep we put all of the signs up around campus to help people find their way around tomorrow um, and at open days. And we also count out and set up all of the course leaflets for each of the course talks going on in all of the rooms around campus. So this is a little system we've got going now where we have all the leaflets for the course fair in department order and then over there we've got all the course leaflets that go into all the individual classrooms for the course talks. So after this we go and put all of these in the rooms across campus and then we'll go and sort out the marquee for the course fair. We put all the tables out, um, all the tablecloths on and then we will also put the banners up so each department has their own um, pop-up banner and that goes behind each table so again there's about 30 or so banners that we need to put up um, and we usually do that in the morning because just in case it is cold or wet overnight and they'll get blown over and damaged we do that in the morning. Um, I look after uh, the marquee during the mornings so I look after um, our course champions who are in the advice fair for the rest of the day in between um, course talks. The initial setup is always um, a little bit stressful to begin with, but then afterwards it, it sorts itself out and it runs really nicely, so I'm very pleased. And at open days, I oversee the university's room showers, that's all the students that live in their rooms that show their rooms at open days. I also brief all of our coach services, and I um, also kind of act as an on call person throughout the afternoon. So, the easiest part of prep before an open day is probably making sure that the team that I work with is all organised for what they're doing. Major differences between the previous one and this one, leadership talks instead of welcome talks. So they're going to be done by either Joy or another member of SMT, 10 o'clock, 12.30 and 3 o'clock in the Stripe Auditorium. Yeah, briefings out of the way, so it's just, uh, just about to do the parking emails to all the guests booked on who's got parking, um, where to go, that kind of thing. So we want to um, give ourselves a competitive edge over other universities by offering things that they don't offer. For example, the magician that we um, come onto campus and we have roasted chestnuts at this time of year and we have sweets and donuts other times of year, perhaps a barbecue in the summer. It's to try and create a vibe on campus and something that other universities don't do. It's sort of putting entertainment onto the campus to try and make it more of a day out for our visitors. Prospective students should come to an open day because there's so much more on offer at an open day. We have everything open for them and they can really get a feel for the vibe of the campus, which is really nice. And that's a really key thing is when you arrive on campus that you get a different vibe um, and that you really feel like you're at home here. And I think that's particularly true at Winchester. And you can also um, ask so many more questions than you would be able to ask online and you can speak to someone face to face which makes it a lot easier as well. So
So the reason why we put so much effort into open days and why they're different from visiting the campus, say for a campus tour um, or an independent tour or something like that, is that you're able to meet with academics. So you can speak to them, ask them about the course, ask them any questions you want to know, find out what those academics are like and whether you're going to want to study with them. Also you're able to go on accommodation tours, campus tours and the campus has a real buzz. It's really busy, there's lots of visitors, lots of people working and a real variety of students that you can speak to to ask their opinions of the university and the course as well. It's been really good, everyone's really friendly and I love the campus and the facilities. It's just a really nice university altogether. I've been really impressed with the way it's been organised. Uh, or everybody seems to know what they're doing and why they're there and what they're saying whether that's scripted or non-scripted but what impresses me most of all is just the pure enthusiasm of all the people involved it's been great um, I think it was really well organised they seemed to put a lot of thought behind it um, they just had some really uh, good ideas about how to uh, give out information and catch your eye on things It's been very well organised uh, They've helped with car parks and know exactly where everything is. There hasn't been any confusion about what's happening and where or um, what should be open or not. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Um, all of the information online um, beforehand was available so we could um, pretty much sort of preempt um, a lot of the, the questions and make sure that um, when we came we, we knew what, what we were expecting and what to anticipate. Um, and it's been as expected, so no, excellent. So far I've really enjoyed it. Um, here the colleagues are very friendly, I've been talking to students here and they've been explaining to me about their courses and how they like, really like the uni, how they feel that they're involved within the university um, and yeah so far I really enjoy it and I'm hopefully looking forward to coming here in the future. Any other questions, queries? No? Cool.